housewives of Gomorrah all boarded up from here to the border, sorted, falling on our swords, are standing still, heartbreak hill. Well, I'm on back of fortune and small bills to show that I can the back of my will, like the back of my hands, I know hard work, my back, my hands, yeah, both still hurt, like a catamaran, two skins, one for the water, one for the wind, like a battering ram, I get it in, I'll be at it again, and when the juniper blooms, we get a river. Coming up next, it's a lightweight matchup between Anthony, Showtime Pettis, and Habib Nurmagomedov. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Pettis is two years his elder. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Anthony Pettis. Habib Nurmagomedov. And here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Nurmagomedov. Black trunks for Pettis. Habib Nurmagomedov is one of the best grapplers in MMA. He has knockout power in his strikes, and his big skill is being able to take guys down and maul them on the ground. Excellent movement here on the ground. Side control. Nicely done. Oh, oh big right hand clipped him. He's got north south here, Joe. He's got him in his guard. Looking for a triangle, throws one leg over the shoulder. He's out. Nurmagomedov goes to the half guard. He's got him in the crucifix. He scores with a huge left. Now working from side control again. Oh, Beautiful that's a left big hand. left hand. Joe, he can finish the fight from here. This he is a huge elbow to the head. Big punch. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Just missed with that huge kick. There's a nice straight by Nurmagomedov. Medal. Both men landing in that exchange. Very nice timing with these shots here. Pettis is cut. Pettis with a strong switch kick. Joe, his opponent, clearly wants this fight on the ground, but he's done a great job stuffing those takedown attempts tonight. Yep. He's landing some very good shots here up against the cage, staying busy. And right into the Muay Thai clinch. Joey's rocked him with that huge knee. They are really battling for position in the clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Nurmagomedov's got double underhooks. Grabbed an armbar here. Almost had the armbar. He's on top now in half guard. Strong elbow by Nurmagomedov. Meta. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. What the fuck did you say, you goof? Now you owe me another favor. You can't even fucking speak English. <laughs> He's like some fucking packy or some shit. Mom. <laughs> I can 
my bus would never send one. Of those <laughs> I'm just gonna minimize the risk. I'm gonna let him know. So then you don't get the answer to the name of house is not there. Who's gonna pick their style? This night will say you never have a deal with the mob. You don't know the mob's right there. Do you even understand anything I'm saying, buddy? So which one's the line? My fucking controller wouldn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm not. Charming employee? Yeah, she kind of hired herself. Just a serious one. Time to brag a little bit. The district attorney went for my castle doctrine argument. Signed up this morning. Don't be the charges against you. You need to go. That's it. Just like that. I'm not good. Smart Maybe he is Russian. <laughs> what are you, you goof? You fucking pansy ass fuck. Uh, you fucking sound like you're monkey fucking a football. Anything illegal about the Indians being in Sheridan? Nope. No, but there's something awfully coincidental about you being in the same hotel in Sheridan as the English monks. Yeah, well, I was once in the same restaurant as soon as the Does that mean I should be nominated for a daytime Emmy? Huh? And then there's a record of me flying out to Foxville Casino in Connecticut. He's Russian. Yeah, he totally fucking Russian. I think Jacob told you that he turned down the Irish home. You flew back to make your own deal. That would explain why the mob said they had a deal at the casino. Why Nighthorse said they didn't. He knew nothing about it. Oh, my God, he's making me sound like a movie villain. Getting out to meet the mob, selling out my own box. Well, I'm not so smart. I never said it was smart. But I do think you had your own side. My fucking thing's not doing shit. Now they're pulling you out. You stand to lose a lot of money. I bet that makes you angry. You know what makes me angry? Covered for that line and a half to be my voice. Fuck that up, I did. Okay, here's what actually happened. He did say no to these IRA buddies. He said he ordered me to go back and make a deal with those dirty Irishmen. He wanted them to deal with me and keep him out of it. So when your car was parked outside that hotel in Sheridan, you were negotiating with the mob and the night was in bed. Okay, Shane told me they were full of us, so he wasn't making enough money to justify the trouble he had with this damn new Hector and, of course, you. That's why you shot at me outside my house. Because I cost you a lot of money. I didn't care less about that. I make good money as a head of security. A lot more than I made another cop. But you know who does care? Jacob. He went through the roof when I told him the mob was full of us. Sounds to me like you're throwing under the bus to cover for yourself in that time. Let me ask you this, Bonehead. When you were being shot at, did any of those bullets hit Jacob's precious house? I'm guessing not. Come on, Walt, what are you going to learn? Jacob Nightwars is the master of the long con. He's throwing us all under the bus. Why should I believe anything? You want proof that he's a criminal and a murderer? 
Oh, you did. I know where all the bodies are buried. You wait for the night. I'll give you everything you need to bring my horse to his knees. Russian ass! There you go, you bitch ass Russian. What's <laughs> la? Fucking go to sleep, gay old motherfucker Canada, all the way. Dirty fucking Russians. <laughs> I don't even think I had to jump on him. I think he was out. <laughs> Oh. Anthony Pettis, 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 motherfucker. Mr. Showtime. Better get that away from there because if that touches that, well, it's hot. She's breaking easy. And they're killing her husband. That was fucking deadly. I'm gonna hashtag Canada vs. Russia, motherfucker. Speaking his foreign language, and I can't even understand that shit. <laughs> he said like three words. I understood out of fucking twenty fucking minutes of fighting. 